What's up guys and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another crazy day here in the world of crypto. So in today's video we are of course going to be going over all of the news that you need to know to be fully up to date in this market and we are going to be looking at something very particular to my channel and influencers in general that makes me very concerned about something that could be a catalyst for us to go significantly lower in this market. And of course, we will be going over where I think we're going next and all of that stuff to keep you fully up to date. If you don't know me already, my name's Connor and I am not a financial advisor. I'm just a guy sitting in this room here in Australia talking about crypto. So if you like that sort of thing, smash up the like button, hit the subscribe button. And remember, I am doing daily giveaways over here on Twitter, where I am now dropping $10 into random people's accounts on Bybit. So all you have to do is come over and follow me on Twitter, follow this link to Bybit. You don't even need to do a deposit, even though Bybit right now has a deposit for my followers of over $4,400, which is absolutely incredible, a deposit bonus that high. You can just sign up to here and then drop your account details below. And I'm going to pick people at random right here to airdrop the $10 to. And I am doing that daily over on Twitter. So follow me over there. Now, moving on, we do have the crypto bubbles, which love to move around like this randomly. But we have Luna Classic up 13% today. We got Chills up 11%, Ape 3.7. But overall, the market is kind of red today. Bitcoin at 20,876. So we have had a little bit of a downturn since yesterday. But overall, we have been holding at that $20,000 mark around here for at least a week now since we had that horrendous drop there of around 30%. That was a wild drop in just a few days. So not very nice to see there. And if we do head over to the weekly chart, we can see that we are significantly now, significantly below that 200 MA, which basically people were expecting never to break. And this is history again. History has been made. This has never happened before. We have never closed below this 200 MA, but it has happened. Now, if you are a trader and you wanted to open some shorts or some longs here, there are definitely options to do here with the volatility that we're seeing in the market these days. This is something that I have been doing. If you had have opened a short around there, it would have been incredible. So if we do look at that and we did have some sort of bounce here, a great opportunity to potentially short the market, which is what I would be looking at, would be around that $28,000 mark or even down here at the shorter term resistance we would definitely be seeing some resistance around that $21,000 to $22,000 mark. So those are regions that I would be potentially shorting Bitcoin and also other altcoins because as we know, Bitcoin leads the pack. Just before we jump further into this video, I want to introduce you guys to today's channel sponsor and that is CoWrite. Now CoWrite are bringing innovations in the music and blockchain industry, creating a platform for musicians and their fans where any independent musician can receive financial support to promote their work from their own fans. And then in turn, fans get to share the profits from streaming and investing in their favorite music on the CoWrite platform. Now, as you know, with the advent of streaming platforms like Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube Music, and a bunch of other platforms, the music industry has changed dramatically. Before you would look at the sales that were generated in the form of physical records, and now you look at the amount of streams music gets online. But the issue still remains that with physical or digital copies of this music, there still has a record label in the middle that takes the majority of the profits off the musicians. This was realized by the CEO of CoWrite Right, Matthias, who had worked in the music industry for over 20 years and was the CEO of Universal Music Sweden. And in 2018, he decided to create CoWrite, a blockchain platform that benefited the musicians and their fans. And all of this funding and profit sharing will take place on the blockchain using the CoWrite token itself, ticker symbol CO. So if we check here, the CO token is a utility token that powers the entire ecosystem. Users can stake their tokens on the platform to earn rewards for their contributions and unlock functionality. For instance, the CO token holder will be able to participate in the blockchain fan funding, gain early access to investing in music, purchase and trade co-write original NFTs and VIP experiences, earn rewards for contributing to the platform and create artist social tokens and participate in governance. And a musician that has already signed up with this platform is Alan Walker, who's had over a billion views on YouTube with some of his music already. And his campaign has actually already started and currently has raised $57,000 with a goal of around $72,000. Now this has 24 more days to go. They have been actively promoting this in Times Square and this will be making people profit from the live streaming revenue for the next two years. And Alan is just one of the many artists that are using this platform. So if you do want to find out more about this specific campaign or the blockchain platform itself, head down to the link in the description and let's jump straight back into this video. Moving on, the Crypto Greed and Fear Index, we are at a 10 today, so still an extreme fear. And we most likely stay here for months right now, the overall economic 
standpoint in the world is not looking good. The cryptocurrency market today, we are down almost 2%, still very much under that $1 trillion mark. But we have some good news before we get into the worrying news. We got Grayscale reports 99% of the SEC comment letters support Bitcoin spot ETF. This would be very, very bullish for the market and I would absolutely love to see this. This could see billions, if not trillions, flow into this space. But we do need to have a much better macroeconomic uh, stage for this to actually go well. So I would rather this held off for a little bit longer. Things clear up, maybe things clear up in Europe. Things like the Rona Rona, chill out. And of course, we have horrible inflation right now. So if we can curb that and then when that starts to come down, we smash in this ETF. I think it could be very good for the market. We did report on this yesterday, but the number of Bitcoin addresses holding 10,000 or more Bitcoin has soared to 100. So the whales have been accumulating in this time and normally the bigger players in the game are the ones that do the best i am also accumulating of course you guys can do whatever you want we have justin binance's us ceo i will continue to buy bitcoin so just like these guys over here he is also adding to his bitcoin bags with all that out the way i wanted us to have some good news before we go into what's happening in the market so right now we have traditional hedge funds are trying to short usdt says tether cto so this is one thing Thing, right we've seen a lot of people talking about this today over on youtube but the thing that's worrying me about this mostly is i've been noticing this along with a bunch of other youtubers that i'm friends with we are seeing these bots in our comments which is totally normal we've always seen these bots in our comments but now they are shilling usdt this is worrying now these are three comments from just my video yesterday i think that bitcoin may fall a little bit more but i believe that it's already possible to invest usdt in bitcoin and a last one here so it's very strange that these bots would decide to be shilling usdt which makes me worried this can potentially, this isn't guaranteed, but could potentially be pointing at these guys going out there and paying for these bots to push the market in one direction because they are particularly scared that things could go south very quickly. There's a few things I'm doing to protect myself right now. I'm not holding any USDT for starters. I'm holding other stable coins. I'm also holding stable coins and my long-term holds on my ledger. This is something, this is cold storage to stay away from these exchanges. If USDT was to crash this would be very bad for the market because a lot of the market a lot of exchanges use usdt very much and if this started to depeg it would not be a good look so that is one thing that's really worrying me right now in this market and moving on from that we do have another exchange coinflex is following celsius in suspending withdrawals which means people are moving their money or cashing out of the cryptocurrency markets way faster than any of these exchanges had ever planned so definitely worrying for the markets if this continues and exchanges continue to do this again one thing you can do to protect yourself is move your money off the exchanges right and then finally moving on we did have this last piece of news that came out quite recently gary ginsler from the sec said only bitcoin can be called a commodity meaning something like ethereum or any of the other altcoins could be up for grabs by the sec to come after which would be very bad right if they put their eyes on let's say ethereum this could be another further blow to what's already happening and could push the market and Ethereum itself or any of the altcoins that they go after much, much lower from where we are right now. So these are the things that are worrying me in the market. Hopefully, we can get away from this soon. Hopefully, we see green days coming. Remember, keep yourself safe at all costs. If you need to cash out into real world cash, do it. If you want to take your money off exchanges, all the exchanges, the cold storage and everything that I use is down there in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.